Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about the mnemonics to remember amino acid classification. So before I discuss about the mnemonics, I just want to give you the brief introduction of amino acids. They are organic compounds. They are the building blocks of uh, proteins. So basically they consist of this amino group, NS2 amine, amine group, and they have this alkyl or aromatic group R and also the carboxylic acid group COH, okay? So they have amino group, alkyl or aromatic group, and this uh, carboxylic acid group. They are the simple compounds of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, okay? This is the introduction. So amino acids, uh, they based on the polarity, they can be divided into polar amino acids and non-polar amino acids, and in polar, we have uncharged polar and charged polar, and also if we can synthesize them in our body or not, based on that, uh, these amino acids are divided into essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids, okay? So now let me go directly into the mnemonics. So mnemonics for to remember polar, polar uncharged amino acids. This is Sarah tells her sister with spelling C-Y-S-T-R, sister, but you will pronounce like sister, to try aspirin gum. Okay, so mark these letters in bold here. So here is Sarah and uh, Sarah, and she actually tells her sister to try aspirin gum. Okay, so this is the mnemonics. So mnemonics is Sarah tells her sister to try aspirin gum. So S, that stands for serine, T for threonine, cis for cysteine, tri, you know, that is T-R-Y, tri, T, that stands for tyrosine, and A for aspirin, uh, aspirin, you know, that's for asparazine and gum for glutamine, okay? So Sarah tells her sister to try aspirin gum. Just you need to focus on the layers that are marked with the bold. And here all the letters, initials of the amino acids are marked in red color, okay? So Sarah tells her sister to try aspirin gum. This is the mnemonics for polar uncharred amino acids. Just remember this picture, guys. Sarah telling her sister to try the aspirin gum. Okay, so now moving on to the next mnemonics that is polar charged amino acids. And so please have a look at this picture here. So, here uh, what it shows is that an uh, aspiring girl likes art and history. Okay, so this is the mnemonics. This is the girl which is aspiring and she likes art and history. So, just have a look on the layers in bold, A, Z, L, A, and history. So A, aspiring, S for aspartic acid, Z, girl for glutamic acid, likes, you know, spelled with L-Y, but pronounced like likes. So lysine, and then we have arsenine, arts for arsenine, and history for histidine. So, so aspiring girl, li girl likes art and history. This is the mnemonics for polar charged amino acid. Aspiring A, that's aspartic acid. Uh, girl, glutamic acid. Likes L, lysine. And then art, that's for arsenine and history. Okay, so history for histidine. So now moving on to the next mnemonics. Uh, this is the mnemonics for non-polar amino acids. So the mnemonics for non-polar amino acids is go and take vital part in promoting mother language. We should all promote our mother language, you know. So the mnemonics is go and take vital part in promoting mo mother language, okay. So go, that's G for glycine, A and A for alanine, T for tryptophan, vital for valine, parts for proline, Part P for proline, in I for isoleucine, promoting P for phenylalanine, mother for M for methionine, and language L for leucine. Okay, so go and take part in promoting mother, take vital, take, go and take vital part in promoting mother language. This is the mnemonics for non-polar amino acids. G, glycine, A, alanine, T, tryptophan, V, valine, P, proline, I isoleucine, P promoting, that's the phenylalanine, M methionine, and L for leucine. Okay, so now we have the mnemonics for essential amino acids. So the mnemonics to remember essential amino acids is I love Tina very much, and perhaps Tina loves Harry. Okay, so I love Tina, 
but it seems like Tina loves Harry, not me, okay? So, this is the mnemonics, just pay attention to the letters, you know, initials that are in, in bold here and shown in the red color here in this list. So, I for isoleucine, love L for leucine, Tina for threonine, T for threonine, very V for valine, and then much for M for methionine, and A for arginine, perhaps P for phenylalanine, Tina, T for tryptophan, loves L for lysine, and Harry, that's uh, S for histidine, okay? Uh, and this A, A for arginine also, okay? So we just need to remember this A comes two times and A for arginine. Okay, so I love Tina very much and perhaps Tina loves Harry. Okay, this is the mnemonics to remember essential amino acids. So, okay, I love Tina very much and perhaps Tina loves Harry. Okay, so now mnemonics for non-essential amino acids. Goals are crazy of shopping. So, the mnemonics is also related to that. That's almost all girls go crazy after getting taken from prom shopping. Okay. So almost all girls go crazy after after getting taken from prom shopping. So just pay attention to the, to the letters in bold here. And A for alanine, A again A for asparazine, G for glutamine girls, go G for glut, glutamate, sorry, girls, and go for glutamine, C crazy for cysteine, A for aspartate, and Z for glycine, T for tyrosine. Prom P for proline and shopping for serine. Just remember this. Almost all girls go crazy after getting taken from prom shopping. Crazy girls shopping. Just remember this mnemonics uh, to memorize non-essential amino acids. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for your kind attention.